Welcome to Stonham Barnes Park, Suffolk's ultimate family entertainment destination. This podcast will take you on a journey of discovery of all our facilities and exciting events. We look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to you all and thank you for joining me again on the Stonham Barnes Park podcast. I'm David Sandville, the manager of the events and theatre team and your resident host. We're thrilled to announce that the Carrot Town Garage American Car Show is taking place on Sunday the 25th of July at Stonham Barnes Park and will run from 10am until 4pm. The show, which is new to Stonham Barnes Park, will feature anything American as long as it has an engine. It's going to be an incredible day out with plenty to do and see. Stuart Davis, owner of Carrot Town Garage and co-organiser of the show, will be joining us on this podcast episode to reveal what we can expect to see on the day, including some very special rare Corvettes. In addition to all of the awesome American vehicles on display, there will be lots of trade stands, an auto jumble, club stands, and plenty of food and beverage outlets, as well as live music throughout the day. So stay listening. Thank you, David. Introducing Stuart Davies of Carrot Town Garage and organiser of the CTG American Car Show. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, Susanna. How are you? I am very well, thank you. And how are you? Yes, very good. Thanks very much. (laughs) This event looks absolutely fabulous. People come from far and wide to take part and just to admire those incredible cars and vehicles. It's a great day out. But can you tell us more about what we can all expect? Well, the car show, this is our first car show, our first Carrot Town Garage car show that we've put together with Ston and Barnes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're doing, being an American car garage, we're going to be doing anything that's uh, American, basically, from cars, bikes, Americana. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to have um, lots of different selections of cars from different eras. So Mm -hmm. we'll have cars from the sort of 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, lots of Mustangs and Corvettes as well. The big car clubs too. We've got Mm -hmm. the classic Corvette Club uh, UK coming. We've got the Corvette Appreciation Society. Mm -hmm. Uh, We've even got the PT Cruiser Club. (laughs) Um, We've got uh, Knuckle Busters who do lots of shows at Ston and Barnes as well. They're coming along as well and Mm -hmm. bringing their cars with them. Uh, So we've got uh, lots of things going on. Uh, We've got sort of theme stands. We'll have things with doing uh, automobilia and sort of car polishes, accessories and bits and pieces like that. Uh, We've even got somebody running a raffle uh, um, to win uh, lots of prizes and things. Uh, so there's going to be quite a varied day out, really, for everybody to come and uh, really the idea is just to come and enjoy the cars, bring your car out, come out for the day, you know, just come and in, in, enjoy the scene really more than anything else and get to see something that's a little bit different, hopefully. Yeah. Um, see, see how it goes and see how it grows from there. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Uh, Stuart, your passion for American cars started at an early age. Can you tell us a bit more about that and how you got into the whole American car scene? When I was growing up, um, we used to have uh, a lot of American air bases around us. Mm. And um, there was somebody in the village, an American serviceman, who had a 70s Corvette in red, which kind of the colour for a Corvette. Yeah. Um, so so much so, they, they wrote a song about it. <laughs> and um, it uh, it was uh, that really kind of really sort of sparked it. And I've always been into cars. I ever, my dad was into cars. Mm-hmm. He got me into cars. And, and it kind of grew from really took off from sort of the age of sort of seven. 17 and I always wanted to sort of work with cars and never really got into it until my 30s and then we uh, grew from there and then when we started Carrot Town, the idea was to to be able to sort of import American cars and just to own all this sort of stuff. It's yeah. just so cool. I yeah. think the thing I love the most about this uh, environment and the American car scene, the people who own these cars, they own them just because they're cool. They're just cool. It's it's <laughs> it's it, they're not they're not obsessed by them or the, the or anything like that. It's it's just because it's a bit different. They're a bit cool and mm. they enjoy owning the car. Um, and as we always say that you. You're never late in a V8. Um, uh, <laughs> I which, love uh, that. You know, <laughs> it's very much one of those things, you know. And um, so we kind of so for me getting into this this American car scene and mm. and being part of all of these cars and also trying to bring other people in 
into the scene yeah. who may not have been into into it before give them the opportunity to uh experience you know the american cars and things you know because it, it, it is different because obviously these are cars that were sold new you know overseas they were not yeah. supplied new in the uk mm. um so it's kind of given given a different thing for people yeah. um and uh but i mean my history is quite varied really with the whole car scene i mean i ended up selling cries the crossfires for about four or five years yeah. um which uh we used to do a lot a lot of those i became the biggest seller of cries the crossfires in the uk and hopefully we'll be having the cries the crossfire club coming to the um show mm-hmm. um uh, which will be which will be interesting and uh since then i mean we've like i say we've diversified we do the american cars we've got uh, we import them sell them mm. um we've got a car club as well and also we've got merchandise clothing and various other bits and pieces yeah. so uh, quite a mishmash so who is jack rabbit so jack rabbit is <laughs> who is jack rabbit it's, it's so fun two, two, two of the questions i get asked well number one why carrot town garage uh-huh. and number two jack rabbit so basically <laughs> how this came around so carrot town garage so we're out here in fenland so right. this is where all the carrots this is where all the carrots come from um <laughs> if we were, if we were a little bit further north we'd probably be spudville um the spudville garage but where we are we are carrot town uh-huh. Uh, so out here in March, this is where all the carrots come come from. And mm-hmm. so when I was trying to come up with a, uh, with a name, we came up with uh, Carrot Town, and that's where this came from. And then we uh, hired a guy who's a brand expert to uh, do um, create the logos and things for yeah. us for carrot town and he came up with uh, uh this rabbit e- eating this kind of menacing rabbit eat- eating a carrot yeah and so that actually became jack rabbit um <laughs> we've decided that that was that would be his name so uh, yeah so he's 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 become jack rabbit and and he adorns all our merchandise and all our t-shirts all our t-shirts yeah. with these sweatshirts and everything yeah, yeah carrot so um and uh and, our, and then we have our standard sort of uh, orange carrot town garage logo yeah. so yeah, no, but it's cool. The idea, the idea of Carrot Town really is it's, it's a brand, so it, it lends itself to lots of different things. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, like I say, we we've obviously got the, the we've got the car show, we've got the club car club, the merchandise, the, the car sales, mm-hmm. the, and actually at the end of the day, just being part of it, we're hoping you know later on we can do cars and coffee and things like this, you know, um, nice. and really sort of yeah. expand the brand as it were into yeah. various various different things. Um, I did, even like. Given the opportunity to take it into non-alcoholic beer would be a good one. Yeah, Carrot everyone town, seems to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I thought, yeah, car, cars are non-alcoholic. The two kind of do go together. <laughs> um, so, so there is there is potential for that at uh, at some point in the future. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. So you're going to have to think back a little bit. But what was the first American car? that you owned uh, the first one i owned yes uh, <laughs> uh, see i lived i lived in america in the 90s so my first american car was a 93 ford explorer right uh, <laughs> right not the most not the sexiest car you could ever imagine um uh and uh but actually to be honest the first car that i imported mm-hmm. that really got me into this mm-hmm. was a 1966 mustang Right. And uh, yeah, I, I, I bought it blind off a guy in America um, from the internet, got very lucky because actually the car was okay. Yeah. Um, I've since imported lots and lots of cars and have got it wrong um, mm-hmm. a few times early on. Mm-hmm. Um, but weirdly, the buzz of importing a car is it's because you don't really know what you've bought. Mm. Um, I mean, it's a big gamble. And yep. when it turns up, you don't know. But that excitement of <laughs> yeah. waiting for the transporter to arrive mm. and think, oh, my God, what have I bought? Even when we import cars now. And I mean, we, we import quite a few. Uh, but it's still the same buzz yeah. every time. Uh. You, that excitement of waiting to see <laughs> what it is that yeah. you've bought. What does it look like? Does it run? Is it OK? You know? Yeah um it, it, it is real it is real excitement so yeah my my first sort of proper import was a, a 66 mustang Beautiful. which was then followed by a 79 uh corvette which i mean that was just awesome that car yeah. um and one of our club members still owns it and uh, i've always said to him yeah. that if ever he sells it he's got to sell it back to me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quite right now going back to the the show can you name just a couple of 
absolutely incredible cars that people can look at. Oh, coming to the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, we, we, yeah, we're going to have some amazing cars. We've got our own, uh, we're taking our own Corvette wagon along. Mm-hmm. Uh, we own a, um, it's one of only two cars that we know of worldwide. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the, it was built by Greenwoods, who were a racing Corvette racing company in the 1970s. And it's a, uh, so basically a wagon would be an estate car. So it's a, a Corvette estate. Right. And uh, we found it as a barn find. And so this year we're, we're taking it, uh, we're going to take it to the show, yeah. we're going to sh- show the car off in its raw state, as it were. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a very, very rare car to be seen. Um, plus, I believe the um, Classic Corvette Club are bringing some rather interesting cars along, mm. um, sort of range of different eras of Corvettes. So there'll be lots of things to see there. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping also to get some movie cars to come along as well, yeah, um, mm. uh, which will be great. So mm-hmm. a few star cars um, for the show. So, yeah, it'll be a, a real sort of diversity of bits and pieces yeah. um, no. for people to come and see at the end of the day. Absolutely. But we've, yeah. uh, I mean, so, sorry, I was just about to say, sorry, we've had so many people book um, already. Um, it's it's quite surprising. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's certainly surprised me, to be honest. Um, so all, all we're going to need really for the day is some sunshine. Yeah, well, we can almost guarantee that, but not quite. How do people get in touch with you, Stuart, if they're interested in buying a car or, or renovating or just chatting to you? Well, basically, anybody wants to get hold of us, we have our website, which is uh, carrottowngarage.co.uk, mm-hmm. all one word. Uh, we also have uh, Instagram, um, Carrot Town Garage on in- our Instagram. We've yep. got YouTube. We have about 3.6 million views, I think, on YouTube now. Um, and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, growing very quickly. Mm-hmm. I-, I do videos of all the-, the cars and things that we sell. So um, just a little talk, sort of, you know, walk around and that. So you can see yeah. what the cars look like. Uh, and obviously, We've got our workshop and things mm. where um, people can call, call us um, up on that. But certainly the, the internet and social media has just dominated everything, Facebook, yeah. um, even our car club. We have a WhatsApp group for our car club. Really? And, um, mm. you know, to sit and watch everybody chatting away on there is lovely. You yeah. know, it really is, yeah. and especially now car, car show seasons taking off. Everybody's everybody's gassing about what shows they're going to and where they're yeah. going. It, it really is fun. Um, so Great. yeah, so so uh, anybody wants to get hold of us, um, and also we do um, a, a story every two months in Classic American Magazine uh, about what we've been working on and what we've been mm-hmm. doing at the workshop, mm-hmm. so people can keep track of and follow us on there as well. Great, fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us. Well, okay. we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, the twenty fifth of July, uh, and we'll see you there. Thanks, Stuart. Yeah, well, tickets are available through the Stonham Barnes website. Anybody and everybody is welcome to come along. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, that would be uh, great. We'd love to see everybody come and mm-hmm. say hello, you know, and uh, come and see what we're all about. Um, and, uh, you know, it, hopefully this will be the first show of many more to come. Yeah, indeed. Well, good luck and we'll see you then. Thanks ever so much. Have a great day. Thank and you very much. Thanks. Bye. And back to you, David. Thanks, guys. Sounds amazing. This is a definite one for the diary. Sunday, the 25th of July, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. But we recommend you book your tickets now or you can buy them on the gates on the day, depending on availability. Tickets are priced at £10 per adult and children under 12 are welcome in for free. Dogs are also welcome on our site as long as they are kept on a lead. Admission tickets are on sale now on our website, stonandbarns.co.uk. Or if you'd like to bring your American Car Club along, enter it with Stuart Davis at Carrot Town Garage on 07713 267 334. Entry forms for trade stands, auto jumble, or show vehicles are on our website too. See you all there. Thanks for joining me on this episode, and we all look forward to seeing you soon. Visit stonandbarns.co.uk for more information.